These are the steps to enter and post a quick journal transaction. This is for the purpose of entering a journal entry that's entered frequently to save time. <clears throat> One thing to know here is that these quick journals do not store dollar amounts, but they store the GL accounts. To create a recurring journal entry that stores the dollar amounts as well, it would be better to use a recurring batch. So let's take a look. First step is to open the quick journal entry window. And then we enter a unique quick entry journal ID. If it doesn't exist already, it'll prompt you to add it. This opens up the quick journal setup window. We enter description, defaults to general journal, enter our reference. This checkbox here, allow override, will allow the user to override this offset account when they're actually making a new journal entry. You set, select your offset account, which could be a debit or credit, but it'd be the one that is most often used. So in this case, we're going to choose petty cash. Checking this box, breakdown allocation, will print a distribution for the, any allocation accounts on the edit list or the posting journal printout. Then you select the accounts that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use sorry. Okay, so this is going to be a recurring journal entry that is um, debiting these expenses out of petty cash. So then we save it, close the window. Now since we've created that template, it shows up where we can select our date. There's the offset account. Because I did not check off the allow override box, there's no way to override this offset account. There are the GL accounts I entered. And I'm going to debit each of these by whatever the amount's supposed to be. So the balance of my debits is $175. So this means that the offset account will be credited by $175 since these are this balance refers to this debit column. And then we post and close. And then you're prompted to print out your posting journal. <clears throat> 